Welcome everybody to another bedroom video, but today we're going to be talking about Flowrider. More, more or less the Flow Tour, but as many of you may have seen today, they released a image on their Instagram, and this is what it says. Flowboarders, unfortunately we have to cancel more events that we have all been looking forward to since the end of the 2019 season. Our primary concern will always be for the safety and welfare of venues, competitors, staff, officials, and supporters during this unprecedented time. The good news is that we are working hard behind the scenes to produce some fun and competitive events when it is safe and appropriate to do so. More details about our goal and vision for this awesome community in 2020 will be posted right here on Friday, May 22nd. Please be patient, keep practicing your skills, and stand by. Now, a lot of our venues are closed. And now, just because the flow tour doesn't happen, it's not necessarily a bad thing. Wait, let's get into like a serious note here. <laughs> okay. These venues have been closed down for, you know, one to two months or longer, or it could be longer. Our wave opens up this coming week, weekend, but that's not to say where we might close down again because of the pandemic. Now, in order for a flow tour stop to come in, the venue has to shut down yet another day and provide the cash purse for the pros. If you have a pro-am event, you know, you're not necessarily guaranteed money. But still, they have to come up with some prizes or it's, you know, kind of a lame event. You don't want to be the lame event on tour. But for some venues, it doesn't make sense to host a flow tour competition with everything that has just happened. And you guys have to look at it from a business standpoint is they've been shut down having no income that entire time. And now us being greedy, wanty little competitors we want a contest we want a high production value we want to have fun but that venue ultimately has to shut down yet another day right after a pandemic making no money at all because a lot of times these venues don't make their income back from competitors and it's mainly our fault if we don't go to every tour stop we're not providing any sort of income to those waves but it is hard with how many we have each year. So when the tour decides to go down to, you know, four or five stops, it makes sense for us. It's cheaper on travel. Only so many venues have to shut down. And when there's such a limited amount of slots, it kind of makes the tour a lot better because the people that want those slots really care about the sport. And that's what, you know, Florida, Utah and I have come to love. We've been on it for this would have been our 14th year, but unfortunately we had to cancel because, you know, we'd be open for a month and then have to bring in uh, our last competition had like 80 something people there. And that's crazy. 80 people in one small little, you know, we're not a whole huge water park. We're a standalone flow rider in a small confined space. So for that many people to be in there, it just didn't make sense. Now, what I will say is I love flow rider. Obviously, it's a huge part of this channel and my everyday life, but it, there's sometimes you just have to deal with it's not going to happen. And it does suck, and a lot of you are a younger audience, says my analytics, but you have to understand that it doesn't make sense for these companies to cater towards the tour or competitors because it's a financial risk. And ultimately, that's what the wave is there for is to be profitable and be successful so it can do stuff like this. So if the tour happens, it's okay. We let it go, we come back next year and we just kill it. And I will have an interview with the new person running the tour up very, very shortly. So stay tuned, I have it planned for tomorrow afternoon. And then once that is done and edited, I will post it up as fast as I can. But let me know down in the comments below what you think or what you want for the 2020 tour as well as the 2021 tour. Now, I was stoked this year because I wanted to do a lot more behind the scenes and I was talking with a lot of the competitors and riders to see what they wanted to do. And as you guys can see, my setup has changed a little bit and I've had a lot of time to dial it in because we've all been stuck at home. 
but I think I can add a really good live stream to all the tour stops I go with. And if Flowrider wants to uh, ship me out to some of the tour stops and host their, uh, you know, host their tour live streams, let me know. I mean, I got some cool stuff going on, but I don't want to take up any more of your time. Thank you for clicking on this video. And I want to have a discussion with you. So please, down in the comments, let me know what you want for this year's tour and next year's tour. And if you have any questions, please hurry up and uh, type right now because if you want me to ask the new tour director stuff, you can either DM me through Instagram or any other social platform or this one, especially if it's down in the comments. I will ask him, but better be quick. Because, I mean, in like, well, I don't know, in like 20 hours, we're going to be chatting. So thank you for clicking on this video and uh, see you. Next one. Deuces.